hello everyone welcome back to another <laughs> vlog a little bit of a different kind of video today i still said vlog but it's not really a vlog oh, it's, it it's a video on, on the vlog channel. on the vlog channel okay yes. yeah <laughs> it's a sit down video yes there we got grace downstairs my mom's watching her mm -hmm. hanging out and uh we are going to rate some baby products now that grace is four months old i feel like we've gotten a good feel for what we like what we don't like what's kind of lukewarm and on the same day that this vlog's going up i'm doing a video on the main channel that's all about products i love and things that i think live up to the hype and so we wanted to do like the baby products version of that here but then i realized people are probably equally as interested in what doesn't live up to the hype and what we wish we didn't buy. So I have a list of a bunch of baby things that we have bought and used and tried. And we have little whiteboards here where we are going to rate them out of 10 based on a combination of how much we like it, how much we use it, and how much we think it's actually worth the price. All right, so let's just get started. Also, I'm gonna put pictures of each item as well as the price on the screen. And this is in no particular order. No particular order. Starting with, I think the thing we get asked most about the snoo. Yes, so the snoo, just in case no one, in case you have no idea what we're talking about, it's the bassinet that we keep in the bedroom. Yes, and it's this special bassinet that you like clip the sleep sack into and it can rock the baby. If there was gonna be a bullet points describing it, one of the bullet points would be it's very expensive. It is, we rented it. That's the big contention part is it's so expensive. It's so expensive. You can buy it, you can rent it. We decided to rent it, which I think was a good decision, but let's just do our rating. One, two, three, six. I said seven. But not so like the snooze is great. It's just like I would don't I wouldn't necessarily like go out of my way to recommend it to people. Yeah, it's not a need for sure. I think probably a lot of the hype on it is overblown. I think Grace sleeps well in it, but she also sleeps great in her crib. Yeah. That doesn't have any fancy bells and whistles. It is kinda nice when she's like starting a little bit, I can like make it rock her a little bit and she usually goes back to bed. So that's pretty clutch. I agree with you in that I would be hesitant to recommend it to someone because it's so expensive and it's not to me like a out of the park home. Home run. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm swinging a bat. Yeah. I really like the rental. Rental's it. great. You get it for like four or six months and then you send it back and now you don't have it anymore. All right, next up is the Hatch Grow. This is a smart changing pad where it weighs your baby when you put them down on it. And then you can also do like measured feeds very easily. So you put the baby down before you feed them, you breastfeed and then after, and you know exactly how many ounces they got. Mm -hmm. Ready? Three, two, one, eight. Oh, bam, seven. I think it's worth it. It definitely has some flaws. Like it's not, I don't know. I think for me and how my breastfeeding journey has been and just how Grace has been, this product has been amazing for me. Yeah. I love it. As I've had supply issues and yeah. Grace had transfer issues at the beginning, it is so helpful in knowing, okay, she got enough. Or yeah, even though this was a long feed, she didn't get a lot. Yeah, you know, I kind of agree. The reason I gave it an eight instead of like a nine or 10 is because it definitely has <laughs> some issues. I'd say maybe one out of every 10 times we use it, it malfunctions and the weighed feeding doesn't work properly. But when it does work, it's great. It is a little expensive. But if you're concerned about baby's weight and breastfeeding, I found it very, very helpful. Yeah. It's also a pretty firm foam. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it can't be super comfortable <laughs> yeah. compared to like a nice squishy, you know. Yeah, maybe not as comfy for Grace. Yeah. All right, next up, the Mamaroo. Ooh, so this is the Four Moms Mamaroo Swing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is a swing and uh, it's supposed to be special and that it's like electronic and like it has like seven different cycles and it like moves back and forth in different ways and you can change the intensity. And you can hook app. it up to your phone yeah. to play your own music. And it looks cool. It's like very tech. All right, ready? Three, two, one. I gave it a four. I gave it a six. Wow, you gave it a four. So I would say like five is like a swings in general can't go wrong. Yeah, swings are great. I actually think a normal swing would be slightly more efficient and better than the Mamaru. I do think the Mamaru is overhyped and overpriced. However, I gave it a six because we use it multiple times a day. We do. Grace likes it. I like it. It's one of my go-to places to put her if I need to like do dishes or like pick up the living room yeah. real quick. So it does its job really well, but I feel like there could be a pretty good option that's equally one third the price. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, next up are the Gather Mats and the Gather Changing Pad. I'm just combining those into yeah. one since it's the same brand. The Gather Play Mats are padded. We have one in the living room and one in the playroom. And then the Gather Changing Pad is just like a thin piece of leather and then they also have vegan leather ones mm -hmm. that we put in the diaper bag for on the go diaper changes. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, Boom. 10. I gave mine an eight. 
Really? I mean, they're they're pretty. They're almost flawless. I don't care too much for the pads. The play mats. The play mats. Yeah. Like they're nice, but eh, I really like the changing pad. Me too. I it's. It's just like, I don't know. It's just so nice. It's so nice. It's easy to wipe down, easy to clean. It folds up super small into the diaper bag. I think it's not, not like heavy. It's, it's like, you can get, it's like so, th you can fold it so tiny. Yeah. I love those. I love the play mats too. I spend so much time on them every day with Grace. I almost gave it a nine because they are expensive, but I think for me personally, the amount that I use them and how much I love them <sighs> brings it to a 10 anyways. They're very nice. They're very nice quality and they definitely warrant their price. Yeah. All right. Next, the Ubi or Ubi, I don't know how to say it, the diaper pail the ubi, that we have. Ubi, ubi, ubi diaper pail. Yes. I feel like we were deciding between this one and the diaper genie. I had heard a lot about that one. Ready? Three, two, one, ten! Ten. Oh, you gave it a ten too! If someone was buying a diaper pail, I'd be like, buy the ubi. This is the first product so far in this video that I would straight up just be like, get this one. This is the best. Yeah. I love it. And because another big thing with these diaper pails is a lot of them have like proprietary trash bags. It's mm -hmm. like you have to buy their specific bags. Ubi, you can use any trash bag. Yeah. And so like. it's cheaper. It's easier. They work great. I have never really smelled anything coming from that. No smell. And if it, yeah, I have zero complaints about it. And it actually looks kind of nice. Like it, it's not an eyesore. Yeah. None of my points come from the uh, aesthetics. <laughs> I'm strictly functional. They have different colors too. We, <laughs> we actually bought a second one because we have two diaper changing stations, one in the nursery and one in our room. And there was such a difference in uh, smell from the room uh, that had the diaper pail and the room that had a regular trash can. Yeah, we had a trash can with a closing lid. Yep. And that thing smelled bad. Yep. So I was like, okay, second diaper pail, let's just do it. And so worth it. So we have one in white, one in gray. I think they make them in pink too. Easy. Easy 10. All right, I don't know. I don't think you're even gonna be able to rate this one because I don't think you ever use them, but the Milk Snob car seat covers, multi-use cover. I give it a one. Zero. <laughs> So I bought these because I had heard really great things and I'm sure they're great for people who use them. As a car seat cover, I found it just so much less functional than just putting a blanket over the car seat. Trying to like maneuver it over and then, I don't know, I don't like keeping Grace covered all the time in the car seat because I want her to get yeah. airflow. So having a blanket is easier because I can like take it off, put it on. As a nursing cover, I didn't like it. I found it kind of like clingy and uncomfortable. And also as a plus size girl, it was just kind of tight. I don't usually cover when I nurse, but whenever I have, I've just used a light blanket. Yeah, for our family, it was a waste of money. Yeah, agreed. All right, next, I think the most expensive baby thing we bought, the Uppa Baby Vista V2 stroller. Three, two, one, eight. Wow, you gave it a 10 even knowing the price? I would say if you were to splurge on a single baby parenting item, it would be the stroller. I would agree with that. But still, this, I mean, I agree in that there is not a single fly I've noticed with this stroller. It is amazing. It pushes well. Everything about it is great. But just that price, like it is so expensive. Yeah, but then, I don't know. For me, I was spooked about the price at first, but it comes with that bassinet. So That's true. If, like, honestly... I would have rather had not gotten the snoo. And, and just, just use the Uppa Baby bassinet as Grace's bassinet for the first few months. Yep, and that would have saved money. Yep. You know, uh, versus renting the snoo. And just things like that. I really liked everything about it. It's such a nice stroller, it feels nice. Yeah, so if you're gonna splurge on something, I'd splurge on that first. I'd agree with that. And that's why I gave it a 10. Next up, the Baby Bjorn Bouncer, self-explanatory. No, I mean, I would say it's not. I always got so confused, and actually I still do, between bouncers and swings. Okay, fair. Well, a bouncer is just the little seat that they sit in with some sort of like suspension, I guess, and then you hit it with your foot and it bounces. Suspension. <laughs> what, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I would say it's a bit more spring-loaded. Spring-loaded, that's like, what I, yeah. But I don't know if, is that the only thing a bouncer does? Anyways, like, because I see the, the Mamaru swing, yeah. and to me that looks like it's bouncing. So I'm like, oh, the bouncer. <laughs> Ooh, Steven changing his answer. Again? <laughs> the drama. Three, two, one. Four. Seven. Now here's what I'll say. I almost went lower because this is more expensive than most bouncers. And I think a, a cheaper $20, $30 bouncer would have been just fine. But I do have no complaints about this bouncer. Grace loves it and I use it every day. Yeah, you're right. I don't have any complaints. I really like it. It's great. But I feel like there's also a lot of other options that are probably much more affordable and probably equally as exciting. Yeah. So that's why I did it for. I don't know if its price is worth it. And when we go to Kenzie's house, Kenzie has one that she said was like $20 on Amazon and Grace loves it. Like yeah. just as much as the yeah. Baby Bjorn. The baby Bjorn is, I mean, it's pretty quality. It's probably close to worth the price, but I don't know. Do you need a super high quality bouncer is the question. All right. The Komotomo bottles. This is just a specific brand 
brand of bottles that we bought. The reason that I decided to go with these ones, A, because a friend recommended it, and B, a lot of people say that these are great bottles to use for breastfed babies because they try to mimic yeah. a boob. <laughs> Three, two, one. Eight. I gave it four. Ooh. Perfectly good bottle. No reason you can't pick any other one. And then I gave it another minus one because it's like that thick silicon and it takes a while to heat up. That's true. You know, it, like it, it really messes with the like heating game. No, I gave them an eight because I feel like they're great. Grace likes them. I find them easy to use. But you're right in that any other bottle would probably be fine. Yeah. So That's maybe fine. my eight was a little bit too high. That's fine. You know, you speak from the heart. On the topic of bottles, the Philips Avent bottle warmer. Ooh, I got ready for, I'm ready for a hot take. Oh, five. I gave it a two. Woo! Wow. It I just didn't... annoys me. I feel like, I don't know where it is on the price spectrum of bottle warmers, or maybe if it's one of the cheaper ones, I hope, because I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a fan. It's very difficult, especially with the Comotomo. Yeah. Comotomo's, you got thicker bottles, and like you have to do this weird water level thing. I just have not been impressed with it. It's frustrating that it should be such a simple idea and it's kind of complicated. All right, three items left. Next one is her Play Gym. Specifically, the one we got is the Sassy brand, which is like a much cheaper alternative to a very popular play mat, which is from the brand Love Every. And this one is kind of, I don't want to say the knockoff, but it's definitely the cheaper version that is very yeah. similar. And, and a Play Gym's like a mat and it has like things that dangle over their head. I said eight. 10. What? 10. I love that thing. Yeah. And here's the thing. I almost went just straight for the play mat from Love Every because I had heard so many people talking about how great it is. Yeah. And then I was shopping online and this play mat was recommended like in the sidebar next to it and it was way cheaper. So I was like, all right, let's just go with this one. It looks the same. It's amazing. I love it. No complaints. Pretty inexpensive compared to other play gyms and Grace uses it every single day and she loves it. Yeah. It gets the job done. I have no complaints. I just wouldn't give it a 10 because I don't know if it's like the best one. Yeah. But it's the one we got and it works very well. Added bonus, on the back side of the mat, it's set up for like a monthly photo op. So it has like months one through 12 and a little ring that you put around what month they are and a little pillow that says months. And I wasn't planning on doing like, you know, monthly photos like that or buying anything for that. But because we had it, we do. Yeah. So if you want a low key monthly thing, it's great. Well, and as a play gym. Well, it does double duty. Yeah. All right, so these last two are more so for me, but you can, you know, give give your opinion. I invite it. Uh, these are breastfeeding related things. So number one is my breast pump, the Motif Luna, which I will give an eight out of 10. I think it works great. I gave mine a nine. Yours? Mine, my score. <laughs> my score is a nine. It works really great. It was also completely covered by my insurance. And I think I talked about this on the vlog when I got the pump when I was pregnant, but I was tempted to get a different pump that was more expensive and not covered. I was like, you know what? I'll start with this one. We'll see if it works. Yeah. And it's great. My only complaint is that it's pretty bulky. And the one that was covered by my insurance is not rechargeable, although they do also have a rechargeable version. And I wish I would have just paid like the extra 50 bucks out of pocket. Yeah, so that's why I gave it a nine. I think if you had a rechargeable one, it'd be perfect. I don't think you'd have a single complaint and there's no reason you wouldn't recommend it to others. Yep. And the last two things, I'm gonna combine these. Well, should I combine them? I was gonna do the Boppy and the My Breast Friend. Okay, first we'll do the My Breast Friend. It's a breastfeeding pillow that has a fantastic name, as you can tell, where you basically like strap yourself into it. I'm not even gonna vote. Okay. Because this the is strictly a breastfeeding Aid. The My Breast Friend, I'm gonna give a six. It was very, very helpful for me at the beginning because it is specifically designed to work for C-section moms. And that was very helpful for me because I was able to get support breastfeeding grace without yeah. having something touching my incision. So that was great. Yeah. But then after, I don't know, maybe the first month for six weeks, my incision healed up and I got used to just holding grace. And now I just shove a pillow under my arm or just honestly just do nothing and just so hold see, it. I think you should rate that higher. I Why? think you should rate them as like at their peak, how was it? But is it worth it to buy it and then only use it for four to six weeks? And from what you just said, it sounds like it was a big piece of like that initial breastfeeding journey. But also when we just used pillows, that was fine too. That's that's the, the thing to talk about. <laughs> Sounds like you should write down your rating though. Let's get down to the root cause. <laughs> oh, and another thing about the My Breast Friend, you know what, I should have rated it higher. It works great for plus size people. You can adjust the clips, they're Velcro, so you can make it bigger, smaller, so it just fits your body perfectly. Yeah. All right, last item is the Boppy, which is another breastfeeding pillow, but this one, it's not like adjustable. You don't strap in and also people can use this just as a support pillow for holding a baby. You should rate this one too, because it, we didn't just use it for breastfeeding. Like people use it for holding yeah. grace. All right, seven. Three. 
Ooh. It's not needed. I almost, I should have written zero. <laughs> no, here's the thing. I prefer the My Breast Friend for breastfeeding grace. I tried both. I used both. The My Breast Friend was better. But this was so great for when we had family members coming over to hold grace, especially like my little brother. He'd like never held a baby before. And so he felt a lot more comfortable having the boppy and then, you know, his arms and in Grace's early weeks, pretty much everyone who was holding her used the boppy. Yeah, but that's also, I don't know. I think they could have been a use in a pillow. One thing I should mention, because I'm sure there's going to be people talking about this in the comments. There recently was a recall on the boppy lounger separate from the boppy pillow. So our pillow was not recalled because we just got the regular pillow. Yeah, the pillow is like a moon shaped yep. thing. And then the lounger is like a flat piece that has like I don't know how yeah. to explain it. So just wanted to, to note that if you have a boppy lounger, it's getting recalled. All right, well then that is gonna be it for this vlog that video. Was that was fun. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I wanted to say that, but not cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can, you know what? You can cut me off anytime. I, I probably was cutting you off this entire video. No, I, don't, I think I was cutting you off more. I'm so excited. I'm very excited to talk about all things baby. You are. It's very cute. You're like very passionate about talking about specifically like baby products, baby things, baby and advice. Like baby feeding. Like I wish it was more normalized for like guys to talk about baby feedings and things like that. I don't know. It's very interesting. Anyways, we can end it there before I ramble on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys so much for watching and we will see you very soon with another new vlog. Bye. Bye.